Imagine dropping $100,000 on a futuristic stainless steel electric truck only to find out that it has more issues than the Russian economy. Number 1. The Death Frunk The front trunk, aka the frunk in the Cybertruck, is a force to be reckoned with. People have been putting carrots in the open frunk frame to see how sensitive the lid is when it closes. The results? The frunk seemed to slice right through the carrot every time. This carrot as a finger test is quite unsettling to watch. We almost feel sorry for the carrot, but rejoice it was not our finger there. Most cars have sensors to detect if something's in the way of a closing trunk or frunk, but the Cybertruck seems to lack this feature. So watch those fingers. Moreover, a Tesla owner shared that he needed stitches after getting a nasty cut on his leg while getting out of his Cybertruck on an incline. He mentioned that the corner of the door isn't particularly sharp, but because he closed it with force, it caused a pretty bad cut. Tesla's owner's manual does have a warning about closing the door, advising to, quote, use caution around the panel edges on the Cybertruck, including the doors, powered frunk, tailgate, and surrounding panels. It also suggests always grasping the door at the top when opening it and keeping the hands and fingers away from the edges. Another forum member chimed in saying that he also cut himself accidentally as he was washing the car. Those sharp edges can really draw blood, so be careful. Number 2. Accelerator Pedal Issue Tesla is recalling this year's model due to a pesky accelerator pedal problem that could make the truck speed up all by itself. Definitely not something you want happening on the road. The problem is that the accelerator pedal pad can pop off and get wedged by the interior trim. When this happens, the pedal goes straight to the floor, causing the truck to accelerate at full speed. Given how heavy the Cybertruck is and its quick acceleration time of just over 2.5 seconds to 60 miles an hour, this is a significant problem. But this is just not poor design, it's also about Tesla being too cheap and not including any kinds of fasteners in the pedal trim. This recall is exclusively for the 2024 model year, affecting all Cybertrucks manufactured between November 13, 2023 and April 4, 2024. That's almost 4,000 trucks in total. Tesla plans to start sending out notification letters in June 2024. Owners who receive these notifications are advised to bring the cars into a service center as soon as possible. They'll replace it or repair the pedal assembly at no cost to you. As a result of this recall, all the Cybertruck deliveries have also been paused. Some future Cybertruck owners had their orders pushed back. While recalls are pretty common in the auto industry, a stop sale order is a big setback. Tesla just started delivering its Cybertruck late last year, after a two-year delay caused by production issues and battery supply constraints. This recall and the announcement of stopping the sales had a noticeable impact on Tesla's market value as a company, because the stock dropped about 14%. That's a significant dip. Number 3. Electrical Problems On the CybertruckOwnersClub.com forum, in a thread titled, Worst Delivery in My Life, Truck Died in 5 Minutes, a Southern California-based owner shared his nightmare experience. He got his new truck, took it out for a drive the same day, and it didn't even make it a mile before things went south. He got a steering error and a flashing red screen, had to pull over and call for a tow truck. The dealer couldn't help either. They tried to restart the car, but the screen was stuck black and kept beeping and nothing really worked anymore. Number 4. Massive Windshield Design Flaw So here's the deal with the Cybertruck's windshield. It's huge and almost horizontal, which in the blazing sun doesn't mix well with its all-black interior. Just imagine driving with the sun glaring through that massive windshield, feeling like you're on a slow roast. And cranking the AC? Sure, but that's going to eat into your battery life. And more ridiculous than that is adjusting the AC vents. Gone are the days when you could do that with a simple one-motion adjustment. Now you've got to navigate through a settings menu on the main screen. Because why make it easy when you can make it futuristic, right? Reports also show that charging the car in the sun can make the inside feel like an oven at over 130 degrees. Thankfully, Elon thought about this with his remote AC function, window controls, and even the dog mode. What he didn't think of was the good old sun visors and their actual usefulness. Unlike in other cars, the sun visors in the Cybertruck don't cover the entire windshield when you use them. They let in a whole lot of sunshine to blind you from the top. Yes, it does have some extra tint up at the top, but still that's not enough. Number 5. Fast charging on a non-Tesla plug is a nightmare. All Tesla cars come with an adapter for some of the slow chargers plugs you can find in the US, but some non-Tesla fast chargers use a CCS type of plug, which used to be the standard before most automakers switched to Tesla's plugs. To use those chargers, you'll need a different adapter that Tesla sells for 250 bucks. 
Okay, not that much of a problem, considering you already splashed more than $80,000 on the car. But here's the catch. This different adapter doesn't work with the Cybertruck because of its big plastic fenders. Some other Tesla models even need a service appointment to get it to work. According to the Department of Energy, there are over 40,000 public fast charging plugs in the US and more than 60% are Teslas. So while all Tesla's plugs are the top choice, not being able to use the others is definitely a headache. Number 6. Fragile Wheel Covers Almost every electric vehicle these days has wheel covers. Like them or not, they make the car more aerodynamic by reducing drag. Drag is a range killer, so these wheel covers will help you get more range out of your electric car, and sometimes they even look cool. The Cybertruck's wheel covers are something else though. Their design is strange, to say the least. You can either love it or hate it. But besides how they look, the wheel covers on the Cybertruck stick out past the tire. So even the slightest touch against a curb would leave a mark. And let's face it, the Cybertruck's size and not so great maneuverability will make it impossible not to hit curbs all the time. If you're spending $100,000 on a truck, you probably have a garage. But what about when you want to hit that trendy downtown restaurant with only street parking? Are you really going to trust the valet with your Cybertruck? Number 7. Critical Steering Issue Detected Cybertruck owners are flooding the internet with reports of a critical steering issue just days after receiving their cars from the dealership. The error message typically says, pull over safely, critical steering issue detected, indicating a high voltage system error that requires service. Apparently, this can leave you on the side of the road, unable to restart the truck and continue your journey. Tesla's service centers have identified the problem as a low voltage harness connecting the ancillary bay. So you need to have the car towed to the Tesla service stations so their technicians can replace the ancillary bay at no cost to you. Other owners were luckier because they could restart the car and continue their journey. They got out of the car, locked the car, and waited for a few seconds. Then they'd go back in and start the car and it would work fine. However, sometimes they had to repeat this procedure a couple of times before the car would start. Nevertheless, the problem would still come back randomly. It's just so sad, especially when you splashed out almost $100,000 or more on the car. And the funniest thing is that the Cybertruck manual does advise you to act like this. It suggests to clear the alert by getting out and back in. If the alert doesn't pop up again, you can keep on driving. Number 8. Plagued by Rust, Fingerprints, and Uneven Surfaces Tesla's Cybertruck may be the new cool kid on the block, but some owners are already noticing their stainless steel rides starting to rust. And even the Tesla Cybertruck manual admits the steel panels can be affected by corrosive substances like grease, oil, tree resin, and dead insects. The manual advises washing these off promptly to avoid corrosion. Just months after purchase, owners are posting images on social media and other forums showing orange rust spots appearing on their new EVs after driving in the rain for some time. Other new Cybertruck owners mentioned that they didn't notice any rust spots, but were surprised by how easily the stainless steel shows handprints, a problem typically seen with stainless steel appliances, not cars. Beyond rust and fingerprints, the Cybertruck faces a more significant exterior issue. Misaligned doors and uneven surfaces make the vehicle look wobbly and odd, far from the sleek, angular renders that Tesla had showcased in the past. According to Elon Musk himself, the bright metal construction and straight edges make every minor inconsistency look like a big deal. To tackle this, he demanded unparalleled precision in manufacturing, insisting that all parts of the car, whether manufactured internally or from suppliers, need to be designed and built to sub-10 micron accuracy. We're talking super, minuscule, detailed precision that specialists don't believe is possible. Maybe Elon likes to talk too much, you know? The Cybertruck's issues are so random, they speak more about poor quality than anything else. We've seen reports from owners who had to deal with strange creaking noises coming up from the center console, tailgate buttons occasionally becoming unresponsive, or even rattling gear selector. Another owner who casually stopped for a car wash after a long day of work couldn't start his car anymore. He had to do a complete system reboot, which took more than five hours. Number 9. Charging Issues Current Cybertruck owners have also reported charging issues with their Cybertrucks, noting unusual fluctuations in the charging rate. The rates would drop as low as 19 miles per hour and rise to 35 miles per hour. To investigate, one owner disconnected the Cybertruck and charged their Model S using the same wall connector, which had been installed for several years and had never presented any issues. 
The Model S charged consistently at 33 to 35 miles per hour, indicating that the wall connector and electrical setup were functioning correctly. However, when reconnecting the Cybertruck, the fluctuating charge rates persisted, varying between 19 and 27 miles per hour throughout the session. This issue appears to be exclusive to the Cybertruck. Number 10. Insufficient range One of the most anticipated features of the Tesla Cybertruck was its impressive range, with the company promising up to 320 miles per charge. However, recent tests and owners' reports suggest that the reality might fall short of these expectations. In recent tests, a Cybertruck with an indicated 124 kilowatt hours of battery capacity managed just 254 miles before running out of juice. This translates to a little over 2 miles per kilowatt hour, slightly better than the Hummer EV's estimated 1.48 miles per kilowatt hour, but just below the F-150 Lightning's 2.29 miles per kilowatt hour. This specific test involved setting the truck on cruise control at 70 miles per hour, and it was done at night to remove any impact from the weather and traffic. Even so, the Cybertruck fell short of its advertised range. Moreover, the truck even began to struggle a few miles before officially running out of charge, as it couldn't maintain highway speeds and had to be pulled off the highway. Interestingly, it continued to run at highway speeds, showing 0% state of charge for several miles, which indicates Tesla is pessimistic when it comes to real-time range calculations. Better safe than sorry. Reports from the Cybertruck Owners Club forum show even lower range figures. Some owners who have already accumulated significant mileage reported achieving only about 206 miles on a full charge. That's way less than the advertised 320 miles. These findings suggest that while the Cybertruck might outperform some competitors in terms of efficiency, its real-world range is still a significant step down from Tesla's initial claims. As more data from owners and further tests become available, and as the hype tones down, we come to see that the actual capabilities of the Cybertruck don't live up to its reputation.